How's it going everyone? And in this video, we're gonna be walking through how you can use AWS Key Management Service or KMS in order to do something called asymmetric encryption of a string or a key. And so basically the goal here is for us to have more secure apps and to make sure that you know when we have sensitive things like people's social security numbers or some kind of you know, key to access a database as root, that we are protecting these things to the best of our ability with the highest levels of encryption possible. And a little bit of background before we jump too deep into this is that with asymmetric key rotation, which is an option, um, the key difference here is that in addition to having a public key, you have a private key. And so when you are encrypting this string, for instance, like if you're trying to encrypt my social security number, you would use a public key to do the encryption but if someone had that public key, they still wouldn't be able to decrypt that secret, which is now called the ciphertext. They would need the private key. And so basically you've got two separate keys that are needed in order to fully decipher the ciphertext to get the original you know, thing that you're trying to protect here inside of your application. So um, that is what makes this thing a little bit more secure and uh, more valuable in industry. So I'm gonna be walking through this example uh, I tried following you know, the AWS documentation. I was only having a little bit of a hard time with it. So hopefully this video makes sense for you guys and we'll jump into it. So basically the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up my AWS management console. So I've created my own personal little AWS account. And the first thing that we need to do is go to the IAM dashboard. And the reason for that is because um, in the Python script that we'll be running, it's going to be requiring programmatic access to an IAM user inside of your AWS account where you'll be creating this KMS uh, key. And so in our case, I'm gonna click on users right here and I'm gonna click on add user and I'm gonna give this thing a name. So we'll call this the you know KMS test user or something. And I'm gonna give this programmatic access and you need to select this option because basically the way we're gonna be authenticating uh, with Amazon through their Boto3 client in Python is through this client ID and secret uh, that we get with from them. So now we're gonna click on permissions. And this is a cool thing. You do not need to add any permissions to this user. Um, they just need to belong to the account in order to uh, access you know, the account resources. Mm -hmm. And we'll be explicitly saying which KMS key is allowed to uh, be viewed by this user we're creating. So don't worry about attaching any policies, just leave it blank. And in terms of tags, you know, you can be a nice guy and give this thing a name. So we'll call this the, you know, KMS test I am user. And we'll review this. And it's gonna give us a little warning saying, you know, are you sure you wanna do this even though you haven't given any permissions? We'll say yes, we're okay with that. And we're gonna create this user. So now the very important piece of information that we want to copy from this is going to be the access key ID as well as the secret access key that exists for this account. So I'm gonna make this half screen, I'm going to uh, make my PyCharm terminal, or PyCharm, you know, half the other side. And inside of the GitHub repo where you guys can download all this stuff, um, I have a secrets.json file, and I apologize because I've structured this poorly. Let me move this here for now. Um, but basically what I want to do is I want to open up secrets.json, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the access key, paste that bad boy in there, and we're also going to scroll over here. We're going to show this bad boy and copy the secret access key. And we're going to paste in the entirety of this guy. Just like that. And uh, so that is what you'll be doing or the modifications you'll be making inside of that file. So um, I'm going to now go back to the AWS console page and we'll try to make this thing more reasonable. Um, you see how the magic is made. Uh, we're gonna close this out. And so now the cool thing is we have an IAM user inside of our AWS account. And the next thing we'll be doing is making an actual KMS key in order to uh, you know, store the, uh, the public and private key for doing our actual uh, encryptions here. And as you can see, I have done this before just for testing purposes, but um, if you haven't, um, you know, this will be blank. I'm going to click on create a key and for key type, we're going to choose asymmetric. And in terms of uh, the key usage, we're going to be using this to encrypt and decrypt data. So we're going to choose that radio box appropriately for key spec. Um, this is very important to choose the right one because if you choose the wrong one, it will lead to issues because you have to specify the specific 
uh, encryption algorithm. So make sure you choose the right one here, which is gonna be, I'm gonna go with RSA 2048. That's the one I was working in my little demo. Uh, I'm gonna click on next. And um, I'm just gonna move this guy to the side. Uh, basically, you have to give your KMS key a alias. And so we'll call this, you know, the KMS test key and asym asym just to be, you know, asymmetric. Uh, and you can give this a little description. So, you know, testing for YouTube. And um, here you can also attach some more tags onto this thing and hit next. And this is where you will define who your key administrators are. Uh, in my case, this is the reason why we made that IM user to begin with. So we're going to specify that KMS test user. Uh, and we're just going to let's go down here and we're going to say, you know, are we okay letting people delete this key? And uh, we're going to say yes. And we're also going to have to say which specific IM users are allowed to use this key, not just administer it. And again, I'm just going to choose the little test user that we created. But you know, if you are doing this in a production environment, you would want to follow the principle of least privilege and make sure that you've created your own IM user specific for just using the key and then have it like a separate IM user for doing things like key rotations and stuff like that. So ideally, you would have the most granular permissions possible. Uh, but you know, for our little demo here, we're going to not do that. Um, you can also share this with other AWS accounts if you want. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then we're going to click on next. And um, you, know, you can just review your key right here. We are going with that uh, RSA 2048, uh, which is gonna be this asymmetric encryption type. And then we're going to uh, just review this key policy and click on finished. And so now you can see that uh, I have this new key that's just been created and this key has an ID. So if I click on this alias and it shows me the ARN now, I click on ARN, we can now copy this guy. And if I go to uh, view the PyCharm terminal again, and we're gonna make this full screen, um, I'm going to paste in the ARN right here and just paste that guy right there. And we're also gonna go to main.py and I'm going to uh, on line 67 here, in my example, uh, we have to specify the ARN for the KMS key that we create, paste it in. And now um, we're almost there, and I have this all documented in a readme so you guys can follow along. Um, but basically, we've got the the uh, KMS ARN specified in our code. We've also created the IM user, um, and we have pasted in the access key and secret access key into this secrets.json file inside of our project. Um, the other key thing to call out here is that when you are doing this, this is region specific in AWS. So make sure that you are choosing the region that uh, is appropriate. If I said US West 2 when I made my KMS key in US East 1, it's not going to work. So uh, everything I've done here has been in the US East 2 region. So that's why I'm defining it there. Um, and now if we go to main.py, um, we can see how much of our uh, labor is going to pay off. So I'm going to now uh, run this guy and I'm just gonna right click and click on main and that is it <laughs> and I know I know that at the high level it seems like not much happened but behind the scenes um, what's going on here is pretty cool so basically um, what you have is your secret text and in my case um, you know I just have this string you know sample underscore text with a bunch of you know random characters in it um, and what happens is that we first encrypt this string of characters using the actual string itself as well as the ARN or the ID of the KMS key that we created inside of that AWS account. And so during this encryption process, um, these two inputs come together. The output is going to be the ciphertext. So the ciphertext is just bytes. It is basically kind of almost meaningless data to a human. Um, and so the ciphertext, uh, if we run this in a debug mode, you'll get to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna put a breakpoint right there. And we're going to then debug this guy. And you can see that our ciphertext is just this bytes thing that looks ridiculous. Um, and it, it looks ridiculous to you and me and, and to other computers or other people listening to this who do not know the private key because the only way to decrypt this is with the private key that is hosted inside of KMS with AWS. So um, basically from here, what we can do is we call our decryption method here on line 69 and with the ciphertext as well as that same KMS uh, ARN that we made inside of the console, it is able to take those two pieces and uh, because we're doing asymmetric encryption, we are needing to specify 
uh, a specific algorithm. And um, if you don't do this part, it will air out. Um, but basically from here, we're just sending this all back out and um, spitting this thing out uh, in plain text so that you know if you needed to see what your social security number was or something like that, you can do it. So um, that is going to wrap things up for this video. This was some pretty dense stuff, um, but you know I just wanted to walk through this whole thing in Python with you guys to show how you know KMS can be pretty useful to do asymmetric encryption to add security to your application. So thank you again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and be well.